All right. All right, looking at the... Um, Okay, go ahead and reflash the firmware and double check to make sure you have selected no reboot sequence and full chip erase before going through the flashing process. All right, so no reboot sequence, full chip erase. We're using the SP Racing F3 EVO using the current firmware. Uh, it's already been downloaded. We're just going to download it again. Okay, we're going to flash the firmware. All right, erasing. Currently flashing. Programming successful. All right, there goes the uh, flight controller rebooting now. Go to the welcome screen. We don't have auto connect on, so we'll just click connect. And there we go. And there we have it. Uh, calibrate accelerometer is currently blank. The gyro and the uh, accelerometer uh, tabs are are not lit up. If I pick up the board and move it, of course, we do not see any action uh, whatsoever on the 3D model. Um, going to the making sure we have the right firmware. or we'll you know, the CLI will hit version. And there's our current version, 3.4.0, July 8, 2018. Going to the configuration. I don't know why I do that. Well, reconnected. We'll go back to configuration. Now we'll turn off barometer and magnetometer. Accelerometer is on. Save and reboot. Go ahead and click connect. And again, there is uh, no response whatsoever from the uh, from the movement of the board. So at this point, I don't know if uh, you know if the board is bad. I don't want to start soldering on anything and then find out and waste my whole build to find out that uh, the gyro is not working or the accelerometer is not working or anything, but um, there is my dilemma. I followed all the steps, uh, and I've and I've done this numerous times already prior to uh, uh, prior to making this video. So uh, this is my proof that I've gone through the steps as recommended by Flight Test, and I need uh, I need some expert uh, advice on is this board bad? Am I doing something wrong, or what else to check? But um, there you have it.